big game on the horizon this weekend. It's uh, two games to go. Crunch time very much set in on the league and uh, even away game at Longford this Saturday. Yeah, uh, we're looking forward to it. We're confident. Um, huge last two games. Um, we're, look, we're working hard in training to, to make sure that we're, we're getting the, everything right and preparing right. Uh, to make sure that we can put in a good performance on Friday, hopefully get the three points, which sets, sets us up nicely for uh, the last game of the season against St. Pat's at home. What was it like last weekend then as well, coming out of that loss with Rovers? Because, you know, obviously when you're playing at home, you want to, you know, you want to take points, you want to win every game you can at home. And yeah. for what was, I suppose, look at a disappointing 3-1 result, what was the mood like in the camp after that? Um, we were dis- very disappointed after the game not to come away with any points, um, especially going 1-0 up uh, and defending well to concede two sloppy goals on set pieces was really disappointing. Um, but hopefully that we can learn from this um, and then defend better in these situations in the last two games because we know how important set pieces are. They can win you or lose you games. So. Um, hopefully in the next two games we can do best in these situations. Tell me a bit about as well the biggest talking point of the weekend I suppose after the result but you know the incident with fireworks on the pitch like what was that like as someone who was, who was there I suppose in the place they didn't want to be at that time? Yeah so it's nothing like I've ever experienced before um, it was a bit crazy to be honest I just you're just playing the game and then you just hear the loud bangs and like sparkles near your head and stuff it's it's a bit weird but you just try and stay as concentrated as possible really um, try and do your job but if if the game gets stopped then you just need to reorganize and stay concentrated and make sure that when you go back out on the pitch that you're you're just fully concentrated on the game last thing for you maybe and uh, just listen to to your manager Mark Burton last week after the game like to say he was unhappy I think is a, is a fair statement he was he was pretty angry and fireworks aside, in terms of the results, you know, there were some strong words from, you know, to the playing group. Was there tough conversations had after the fact? I'm assuming, you know, he let you know how he was feeling when the cameras and the microphones were put away. But what was that like post game? Um, well, of course, we, we have high standards as a group because we know what we want to achieve. Um, so the gaffer just told us after the game what, what he expects because we want to stay in this league. Um, like the playoff position from when he came in if he wanted to get that I think maybe we only had to get two wins and a draw but considering everything that we've done since then um, we just want to make sure that we can just stay up automatically because we've worked so hard we've gathered so many points I think we're second in the form chart in the league behind Shamrock since um, the gaffer's been here so we just want to make sure that all this hard work um, doesn't go to waste really so after the game he's just disappointed so are we but hopefully we can put it right in these next two games